Gordon Brown stands accused of caving in under pressure after making an apparent U-turn over Libya. He said he would now support victims of the IRA on the issue of getting compensation from Colonel Gaddafi for explosives and bomb-making equipment that he supplied to the terrorists in the 1980s. There's been outrage after the revelation that Mr Brown wrote to the victims a year ago saying it would be inappropriate for ministers to get involved. The US government, on the other hand, forced the Libyans to agree an out-of-court settlement with the families of American victims. Injured when the IRA blew up the London Docklands in 1996, Jonathan Ganesh was told by the Foreign Office that oil deals were a factor in not asking for compensation. They seem more interested in oil. I know energy must be important, oil must be important, but surely human life is more precious because we're valuing human life now with barrels of oil. In a letter last year to the British victim's lawyer, Mr Brown wrote that the government could not get involved. But now the Prime Minister has been forced to promise to help them and their families get compensation. Now, I desperately uh, care uh, about what has happened to those people who have been victims of IRA terrorism. When I met with the families uh, and the supporters and lawyers a few months ago, I assured them of our support and our sympathy for their cause. Jonathan Ganesh will now get foreign office and embassy backing when he goes to Libya next month for talks with officials. He will have to try and achieve what the Prime Minister couldn't.